So the car is on a smaller hill, on an incline, and if I accelerate, it's slippery. It's not going anywhere. That orange sign kicks in. Okay, let's put it into park. Let's check the marks. So it could not climb here. This wheel was spinning, that wheel was spinning. So here's this package, it's an anti-slip device. Roadstar, it was damaged, <laughs> I received it that way. So it's just a bag, it has a zipper. And inside is this. You have gloves, textile gloves. You have a helper tool, it's pretty tough plastic, sturdy. And you have these three packages of two, so in total six, and they are very flexible, as you can see. Very flexible. It's plastic, it's almost rubber, and it has these textile holder elements. And you have to insert them there, from below, and to open it just push that down so let's put this on the wheel and another one let's see so it's plastic but it has these metal inserts eight of them they are let's see half a centimeter tall so let's place one you have to place it inside and pull it out somehow it's dirty here and as i already noticed it's not easy to pull it through so this thing is pretty large so i don't have too much space plus the distance between this shiny part which is the disc and the rim is not too large i can put it inside but I have no clue where the other end is, <laughs> so it's not that easy. Let's try to rotate the wheel. Let's say to the outside. That might help. So here's the view, what to expect. This is down here, and you have to push it in quite a lot, and then grab it somehow. It's here, but I cannot pull out the plastic. Now it's out. Okay, just insert it from below. Yes, the brakes are there, that's not a good idea, maybe there, can't stop the engine, since the brake is there, I cannot insert it there, and I have to push this one down, loosen it a little bit. So we're there, because otherwise this will not reach here, because it's not straight. So I installed just one. It stays there pretty firmly. The other one is not installed. Nothing here. So let's see what we can do with just one. I think not much, because the differentials will slip. But let's see. So with just one it didn't do too much, it's a little bit deformed, 
it's a little bit to the outside. Some stress was here, nothing there. So let's install the second one also. So we'll work a little bit. Let's make a hole. So the same thing, the string on the inside. And then try to pull it through somehow and insert it there. By the way, the spring is pretty close to the wheel. So as you can see, there is not much space there. My finger is there. So that can block it. Since the brakes are here on the front of the car, on this side, it's a better idea to turn the wheel to the left and work on the left side instead of the right side. So let's do that. So on this side, it's good to work here instead of there. Now let's see, with just two installed, one here, one on the other side. Just two is not enough. Two are not enough because here it's grabbing but there is slipping. So I need to use more. It's deformed also. So now we have two on this side. Let's turn the wheel to the left. Now we have four, now let's see what will happen. It's not really going anywhere, slightly. So you probably need all six of them. They are deformed. Those are deformed also. You cannot start up the hill, maybe on a horizontal surface, but not uphill. So I tried just four and I couldn't go too much uphill, maybe with six it would be a bit better. But if you are inside a deeper hole and you have to climb out, there might be good, might be not good. Maybe if they would have larger metal things here. So it's pretty good but it's not perfect, you won't have a tank that will climb anything. I'm lazy to use six right now.
So this is a heavier car, it has two tons, the traction is only on the front wheels and the problem is the brake that is blocking you from accessing those openings here in the front area. You can use let's say the top area but there the spring is blocking you so you can use it freely on only on this side and in order to access it easily you have to rotate the wheel and do the same thing on the other side that's just one then go a little bit forward or backward to have access to the other sides of the wheel so it's not an easy job the next thing which is blocking you is the ground so you have problems here you have problems there you have problems there so only this portion is free to use and easier to use if you turn the wheel plus the mud will be trapped around these so you might want to clean those using that stick it's a little bit deformed here but overall it's a pretty good tool so these are just four, we have two more 